he didn't say anything he did, on the phone he just came home and he walked in the door and I said what's wrong and he just said I have pancreatic cancer and they said I have three months to live he was my soulmate he was everything but I had to be strong for our kids because that's what he told me to do but I lost everything one out of three individuals will be affected by cancer in their lifetime there's a huge difference between finding that cancer early because almost all cancers are curable if we find them early enough. Any tool that increases early detection is amazingly valuable. We are at a place where we need to spread the word about this. I am here to tell you we have a way to detect cancer early. We have a screening method for cancer. It is not being used. They can hit on about 200 or more different health conditions, cancers, inflammatory diseases. There's no reason that we shouldn't be able to have this accessible for all people. And I think the dog's nose holds the key to early detection of all kinds of diseases and conditions. The whole thing was about five minutes and then afterwards, you know, I sat back in the chair and the lady told me that she picked up that he hit on my head and my right leg. So I just made an appointment and I didn't say anything. I didn't want to be like the crazy lady, you know, like, oh, the dog said I have cancer or anything. After she did the full um, head to toe check, she said there were three suspicious moles that she wanted to remove. Two on my head, one on each side of my head, and one on my right leg, which is where the dog had positive hits. Sono stato guardato come un pazzo visionario per anni e adesso in tutto il mondo ci chiedono collaborazioni per attivare esperienze simili. We have nine dogs that can do it with 99 or 98 percent accuracy. We're kind of stuck because it's not recognized as a detection method, as a screening method. We could actually supply the first screening method for several types of cancer. The cancer cells give off waste products and the theory that we're testing is whether those compounds actually have an odor that would be transmitted through a person's breath, through perspiration, through saliva, through the urine. The reason we use dogs in cancer research is because they have this fantastic sense of smell. I mean, we could perhaps smell a teaspoon of sugar in a cup of tea, but a dog could probably smell a teaspoon of sugar in two Olympic swimming pools, so it's quite different. It's important to note the through line of this science. And it did start from anecdotal experience, from people going, wow, you know, my dog found my cancer. Wow. Well, that is valuable because that's what gave scientists the idea. So in situ, we see ourselves as the first ones in the world that have standardized this science, that have really taken the time to go through every single step so that it's teachable, not only to doctors about here's the steps of what we're doing, but to researchers. We're talking about early detection here. We're talking about someone as recent as yesterday that I heard was diagnosed with early detection of prostate cancer. This thing with dogs sniffing out, sniffing out cancer, yeah, it's, it's, it's a reality. If the fire department's doing it, and UPenn's doing it, and OXA's doing it, yeah, there's something all about it that I think is, we're, we're on the mark here.